sofa6.co.uk sponsors of the haze out hello hello he hello 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 good hello, evening Chris. hello hello everybody it's thursday night the 21st of november in the year of our lord 2013 it is yes that's right nearly a week since i left for ireland i've got some video of that tonight Oh, no, you never told me that. Well, I don't tell you much, do I? You've told me nothing. There you go. It's all going to be a big surprise. I had a fabulous time while I was across there. It was absolutely amazing. And tonight, tonight, we think, we hope, at any rate, the site is working. It would appear to be. Chat roll would appear to be working. This is amazing stuff. We're dead chuffed. It's good, isn't it, Chris? It's great. See? She's sitting over there. I keep interrupting her because she's doing important things that producers do. Things like, you know, stopwatches and clicking things and p possibly buying Click, stuff. Clicking things. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> It'll happen. It's bound to happen. It is. We missed you last week, Keith. Yes. Where was I last I've week? I've no I bloody idea. If you can't remember, it's it no good asking me. I was here working. Now, last week. Last week. Last Thursday. You were now, where? not here. Where were you? I'm what were you doing? What was her name? Was she blonde? Were you playing with your organ? No, I don't. You know, I can't remember. That's a sign of age. Apparently it is. You need more nicotine. I must have been yet. somewhere. We'll have to up you to 45. That's what it is. The 36 is obviously not good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come to me. That's... What she said. Yes. Shall we do the well, show then? Well, you think. Well, yes. Well, I'll, I'll play the loud. I'm going to play oh, the loud oh, music. Right. So if you see well, Kate's head banging well. when we come back, you know why it is. This is called one, two, three. The, the Here's Hour. hour. Yes, indeed, indeed. It's the here's hour with Keith and Kat over in the in the in the the clever monitor and and me, Dave, and it's all good. I've, we've just had a message from Nathan. You'll remember a few weeks ago, two or three weeks three weeks ago, is it, Chris? Yes, it will be. Where Nathan Nathan was was looking at this fellow that had been selling purportedly a hundred milligram nicotine on eBay. Well, he's just had a message from Trade and Standards, has Nathan. He's been advised not to use it, the nicotine that he got, to check it all out, so that Trade and Standards could test it. And it wasn't 100 milligram. It was 112 milligrams. I sincerely hope that that particular trader gets hoist aloft by his short and curlies, preferably with a bloody good big fish hook through them, and gets hung, drawn and quartered. I mean, it's bad enough that it was 100, but to get it 12% out, Jesus Christ, man. Talk about giving the industry a bad name. You want hinging. Exactly. I hope he's watching. He does. He wants hinging. That's geordified for um, hung by the neck until he is dead. I believe that's how they put it, isn't it, Chris? I think that is perfectly correct. Yes. yes. All in favour, sir. I watch chat go crackers. Yes. No, Dave won't see the message sprot now that the show's started. I don't know what it is. Let's um, let's get get straight into this. Tonight is is a night of um, surprises, mostly for Keith. <laughs> um, while I was away, people will think this is rehearsed, you know, and it's not. No, 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 oh no, not rehearsed in any way. No, is it? good lord, no, wouldn't do, rehearse. Do, do you know, Chris? Can you just Google rehearse? What's it mean? Rehearse? Never uh, heard of it. Is that not going in a in a date car twice? <laughs> oh, God. Only you would come out with that. 
Just was a thought. I don't know. You can, I'm, you know, I'm just a thick matten. Whip it up says it doesn't look rehearsed. There you go. <laughs> yes. He's right there. <laughs> well, there you are. Right. No. Where was I? I was going to do something. Yes. In Ireland. In Ireland. Walking round Irish Vape Fest at the Abbey Leaks Manor Hotel. The place stunk of custard. Really? It stunk. Do you remember the first one, Chris? First Vape Fest we ever did down in. Um... Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is it again? Camber. Uh huh. No, uh huh. Mm, that one. Uh -huh. Aye. Well, we had to open the doors. Yes. The place stunk. Even though it was freezing. Aye. It stunk of RY4. Place mm -hmm. reeked of RY4, but not Ireland. Ireland reeked of custard. So I've brought two back from Ireland and another one for you to try tonight. Custard? Custard. Right. So everybody that's into custard, tonight's the night if you play your cards right. When Keith's doing that, I'll leave the shot on, on, on Keith's shot, Keith camp, and I'm going to go out for half an hour. In fact, Chris and I will probably both bugger off down the pub and sniff the toilets because it smells nicer, I think, than custard. <laughs> I, just I was like just it. about to say that the last vape fest there, when you walk past the gents, it was much pleasanter than normal because it, it actually stunk of our white hole. What, the gents? The gents' toilets as you walk by them. Well, they might start using it as an air freshener. Well, you never just know your look. But I'm going to I'm gonna give you a chance to cleanse your palate. Right. And we'll talk about something else before we get to the custards. Right, then. I'm but looking forward to it. There's just, 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 just so people know, there's three, three custards, three custards. But I want to hit something else first because um, we we kind of did the dirty really on uh, on Tim on uh, Team Talk uh, a little while back when he was looking at the E mode. We we kind of scotched him a bit, didn't we, Chris? Really. <laughs> Well, that's team talk for you. We might have been having too good a time and there may have been alcohol involved. I, I couldn't swear to it in one direction or another, <laughs> but something along those lines. So I thought, right, what I would do tonight, I would have a look at the E-mode, but not just the E-mode. There's two versions of the E-mode available. There's the E-mode available from joytech.co.uk and there's the E-lectron-S that comes from God. Totally Wicked. As it happens, I've got one of each. The hardware is pretty much the same in both, but there are differences in the kits. So without more ado, are you ready for this? Yes. This is this is the <coughs> show and tell bit. We'll go to closer up you can, and here it is, and I'll show you through it. Now I've got the silver one, this is the one that's badged up as an emote, and it'll be reflecting black. And the black one is the one from Totally Wicked, as you can tell by the little devil's heat on there. And the black one's actually easier to see. So what I'm going to do, I think, to show you around this, I'll take the battery off just to show you what it is, and then I'll put the battery on to show you it working. Now, as you'll see, this black one <coughs> comes in black and silver livery, so it's got a, a silver ring, uh, a silver cap, and so on and so forth, and a silver drip tip. The Joytech version is all black, apart from the ring. Um, right, so, to look through it, let's try and get it on camera and get it zoomed in. And uh, see if we can see what we're looking at here. Right, we're close up. From this part up over is the atomizer. So what we're looking at here is the control head. And you can see that right the way around the control head, you've got little detents. And you can see that that's 4.8 volt, 9.7 watts. Because this is both variable voltage and variable wattage. And I'm going to try and get this so right. You can see that there now. At the top we've got VV, then we've got VW, then RVV and RVW. Now anybody that's ever had an AVIC will know what all of those mean. But it's variable voltage, variable wattage, then recorded variable voltage and recorded variable wattage. And you can set those two settings in the My Vapor Record, the MVR software, from version 1.3 onwards, I believe. Um, next that silver bit is the fire button and then you come to this which is the USB port which you can just say say yeah you can see it there 
go that way, David. There you go. There's the USB port. It will charge via USB, and that's also where you plug the supplied USB lead in to connect it up to the uh, My Vapor Record software. That's pretty much it. This control ring is what you turn, and there is a very faint mark on it. There you are. You can just <coughs> see, see that white dot. If I get the light right, you can see that white dot, and that tells you whereabouts you're actually at. So at the moment it's showing 6.5 watts. So let's put the battery on. And I did that purely and simply so that I could try and show you what everything was before I showed you how it worked. Screw it all together. And it, 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 it's beautifully made, I have to say. It comes together really well. Now, to switch on, I'll get this positioned, right? It's the usual one, two, three, four, five. And you will see that there's a light on beside the VW, okay? Now if you want to change that, let's knock it out again, and you'll see the little light flashing. Now, if I hold it down in offline mode, you'll see that little light moves to RVV, then goes to RVW, goes back to RV, RVW1, RVW2, and then to VV, and back to where I want it, which is variable wattage. One, two, three, four, five, and back it comes, clicks itself on. It is as easy as that. But that's, it's kind of evic. We're kind of seeing that to some degree, but there's more to it than that. And this is the more to it that there is. This is the atomizer. I shall come out just a tad so you can see how this comes together. It's a three mil tank. And if I take it to bits and show you the, the constituent parts, we'll start by taking the top off, and I have discovered it is better to take out the drip tip before you remove the top, for the simple reason that the drip tip, after it's gone through the top, enters the well there. Now I've drained this one, so there might be a few bits and bobs of juice on it. At the top here, you can also see that there are two holes, one here, and one directly opposite, they're the fill holes, and I shall be filling shortly, so you'll see how all that comes together. But let's get the actual business end of this out. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to put it that way on so you can see this little screw here. That is the draw control. It's the airflow control. So you can control the airflow with a little doohickey that comes with it. Have I got mine in my pocket? He raked about to find it. Or did you put it back in the box because you were a good lad? I put it back in the box. Never mind, I'll get it out in a bit. So you turn that little screw-headed thing, there's a device given to you to do it, and that allows you to change the airflow from wide open to a drawer that would make Chris need a bread poultice on the back of our neck to get a drawer. And again, at the bottom end you can see it's all silicon sealed off so that it does not become a dribble fest because this is the business end and I'm going to zoom in so forgive me if I get shaky just to show you how this comes together it's a bayonet fitting you can see there that there's a tiny little wee bayonet job and if I show you the lid you can just see two lugs in there that the bayonet fits on and you literally twist it round until you find the fit turn it and that's it it's solid it's not going anywhere and that then will <coughs> screw into the bottom and you can feel as you're going in that that silicon sleeve catches it and you can see as I'm screwing this on that it's not loose in any way shape or form you do need to screw this on quite tightly this is not a wimpy screw you want a good heavy screw and as you can see my hands are covered in juice so filling let me stick it back in the uh, in there for the time being and get a bottle of juice out it will accept quite happily a snipe nose bottle such as that and literally, you clag it in and squeeze. I've measured it. It takes precisely three mils. Keep your eyeballs, if you will, on that second hole 
and as you fill it up you'll see it come up the sides and then you can watch the ring and when the ring goes completely black and you get the first drop just welling boink that's it you're done that is three mils exactly the underside of the cap as you'll be able to see has another seal on it so that seals it up and again this is best done without the drip tip in and again it wants to be good and tight drip tip on and you are ready to go that I think is the full bifter that's pretty much <coughs> the whole way around I should say that in the kit you get extra little black doodars for uh, blocking your USB port off you get two silicon um, covers because there's also a whistle tip mouthpiece that comes with this um, so you've got your choice of mouthpieces in the TW kit you get an external battery charger which I'll run you through after the break in the Joytech kit you get a wall water USB wall water and I'll show you the pair of them after the break because like a fool as we did say we don't rehearse this guess who didn't get the boxes out and put them in the right place so he could put his hands on them you me that would be I me. think I picked up the word correctly what a detents detents yes when you when you t well try it when you turn that ring the silver ring you'll feel that there's little clicks that they drop into oh yes and each one of those that's a detent I've never heard that word before ah, there you French are, is it um, de, yeah probably it probably means going out of canvas detent 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 never heard that word yes well there you go for a living I see what you, you mean go. um right so yes there we go these are these are the beasties in action this is switched on is that one switched on yes give it a blast soon see, see what you think see what I you think the black about. one you've got the black one I've got the silver one there you go what's in it tell me no it's detent Leslie d-e-t-e-n-t -E -E detent must be French don't know somebody will google it you can guarantee that Mm. these work mm. very nicely indeed I've got this one set to 8.4 watts it says here so what's that set at uh, that will be set at it's just under 8.4 that will be 8.2 or 8 one just of nice that mm. Dave is the tank plastic or glass it feels like glass doesn't feel like plastic it does there's a there is a way to find out though to be absolutely certain I shall do this on close you up you can so people can see I will this is this is taking one for the team I shall put that there I shall get my knife out and I shall try and scotch it it's plastic there you go you can see the mark it's plastic it's not glass it feels like glass very hard and it is actually quite thick so it may be that this is not one for uh, a super sub fire and ice with uh, shed loads of what's it in that's really pleasant that mm. can I ask a question mm -hmm. what homage does that actually run at do you know I haven't actually tried it I haven't tested what homage it is but I can do that by the simple technique of clagging it onto something that tells me the homage and I happen to have two hand an evic oh and that's reminded me of one of the things that I didn't say these things run on a 16650 battery it's 2.4 ohms Chris okay. 2.4 ohms runs on a 16650 and again we'll go back to close you up you can and I'll put a 16650 beside an 18650 there you go you can see there's not a lick really there's not that much between them two millimeters in diameter between them so it's not a great deal and in actual fact the um, capacity 
on the 16650, the red one, mm. is 2100 milliamp hours, and on the grey one, it's 2200 milliamp hours. So there's not a fat lot of difference in capacity. Indeed, my wife has been using her black um, E mode um, a lot, and she's getting through a full day without any bother at all on it. And she was a 20 a day smoker when she smoked. How are you finding that, Keith? Very nice. I'm just trying to identify the juice. It's 48 milligram caramel lychee. Right. Nice juice. Now, I was using it at, uh, at the weekend in Ireland, is, is where I was using it. That was where it first saw its rise. And it is rather pleasant, isn't it? A bit caramelly, a bit lychee, lychee <coughs> juice and stuff like mm. that. It's nice. Um, there are 16650s available for purchase as well. I think they're priced at about £8.50. Cost of both kits. They are each priced up at £99, but on both sites, every day on Twitter and on Facebook and in other places, I believe, there is a 15, 16, 17% discount posted, which means that the effective price is around about £85 for the kit. You get two of the replaceable heads and they go in so easily and they taste so nice. The flavour's really cracking, isn't it? It is. Beautiful. Um, what, how are you finding the draw on that? Good. That Easy. One's, that one's wide open. I've tightened that one down a little bit. That's performing really rather well, you know, this one. I'm not noticing a big difference there. Not massive. I've tightened it down just a little bit. Um, but that, I mean, I'm, I actually yeah. do rather like these. They're very, very pleasant. Tell you what, we'll take a quick blast of adverts, and when we come back, I'll show you the two kit boxes. Um, and then we'll give Keith the first of the custard juices to try. How's that straight here? Brilliant. I'm going to be, and I'll show you the video of Ireland as well. So it's uh, off to the adverts, if I can remember the number. It's number seven. We'll see you in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Super6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out. And we're back in the room. While we were going through the adverts, there were a number of questions came up in chat. You can buy the atomizer part completely separately. You can, and the atomizer being that little insert that goes in there, uh, you buy that separately. And in fact, when you get the kit, 
whether it's the uh, TW version or whether it's the Joytech version, the boxes for which are here, let's go to camera four. And there you are, there's, there's the two boxes. Lord above, David, get them on. There you go. It's quite a, quite a sizable box for both of them. But it doesn't matter which version you get in the box, and I'll pull the TW one out. You get a user manual, which is properly written in English, which is all good. You get this little device, which is the key for turning the, uh, the airflow control. Same in both. In, the, in both of them, you get spare um, covers for the USB port, and you get the two tips. Um, the, the plastic covers for the tips so that if you want to share with a friend you can. You obviously get your battery um, and you get two of the atomizer cores, the atomizer heads as they call them, which come properly shrink wrapped and look an awful lot like that. So if one goes you just replace that part but you can also buy the whole tank assembly separately as well, the bit that screws off. It's not, it's not a, um, a hybrid so that would completely screw off and you can buy that completely separately so if you wanted a silver tank on top of a, a black device you could do that or yeah. Vicky Verky that's all available and they also run I am told by Mr Miles Dolphin they run beautifully in a VTR you also get in this box in both boxes your USB cable uh, that will will charge it and you can use it as a pass through but in the TW version the uh, E-Electron S. Ah, trying to do this thing on camera is murder. Right, here we go. You get this. Now, if Keith, can I just give you that to nurse for a second? Thank you. And I'll pull this out of the way. Put that over there. Put that out the way here as well. Oh, this is all brilliant stuff. And get a little bit closer on that because this is where the two differ. With the Joytech version, you get year box here, which has in it something we've all seen before, and that is a properly checked and tested wall wart. They are standard wall wart, standard USB, so that's what you would use, that's what comes with the Joytech version. What might be of more use to people, I don't know, <coughs> is the charger that comes in the TW version. And I can actually get that closer. Again, it runs off USB, and again, and this is this is the bit that kind of gave me a little bit of a giggle, it runs off a micro USB connector into the top of it. So you get two micro USBs. There's basically one in your pocket and one anywhere else. And it, uh, it will take any size battery you like. Anything from 18350 right the way up to 18650. So that's the difference between the two. That's the way you pays your money and takes your choice. 99 quid is the headline price, but as I say, there are discounts available on both sites. Should get you them for around about the 85 quid mark. Um, thus far, I am liking the uh, the Atomizer. It's very, very reminiscent of the Aspire, and I'm very keen on the Aspire. Um, and quite honestly, um, I'm, I've been more than happy to buy one, and I have bought one for my darling wife, bought her a black one, and I bought the silver one for myself. Mm. Um, and this is the TW one as well that's come through. So they're available from both Joytech and TW, and I've got no doubt they'll be available other places as well. One of the other questions I've seen is, how do you know the battery's going flat? Well, you know those little lights I showed you that show you whether it's VV, VW, RVV, or RVW? That starts pulsing, and it pulses slowly. <coughs> and then it speeds up, and when it's very nearly flat, it's going like the clappers. Uh, if you tried to keep pace while you were on a jog, you'd be running at about 60 miles an hour. When you see it flashing faster than a, a very slow pulse, recharge it, either take the battery out and clag it on, or get it going as a pass-through. If you need advice on using USB-powered devices as pass-throughs, I would suggest you talk to Sav. She's an expert in them. Fancy some diddly music? I'll take that off, you know, Keith. Mm. Thank you. He's been sitting there nursing that like a good. I do apologise. Thank you very much. Um, do you want some diddly music? Fancy some diddly music? Yes, yeah, right. Why not? Two and a yeah. half minutes worth. Like I say, I went to Ireland, and I'm, I'm, I've got to say a great big thanks to everybody that was over there. Jill and I had a whale of a time. As did Miles. As did Dave. I, I, everybody that went. It was absolutely amazing. We, Jill and I, diddled off up to Dublin after that, which was apparently 
that's well it does not apparently I know that's where they brew Guinness and I'm here to tell you that over the course of the four days we were in Ireland I think I did drink my own weight in Guinness so I make no excuses for the edit on this video it's very short because most of the time I couldn't see the phone to pick it up oh this will be fun then it'll be different here we go the journey to Ireland begin Yes, as I said, I didn't shoot an awful lot of video because most of the time I couldn't see the camera phone to pick it up, <laughs> never mind anything else. And Keith was asking what that kind of formal arrangement was. Well, as I said last night um, on VT Talk, the, the hotel could not have been more accommodating had they tried. But they were aware that in Ireland particularly, there are an awful lot of people that have no clue what e-cigs are. And they do get a little bit concerned when they see great plumes of, I'm going to say it, great plumes of vapour. Um, you might have noticed in that little bit on top of the Guinness Brewery, yours truly was stealthing it a little bit. That's because where we were sat, the sun was pouring through the window. And of course, had I blown one out, it would have been everywhere and it may well have caused consternation. And the fire alarms looked to be a little bit um, on the, the clever side. So it was just a little touch of stealth and with the Guinness. Actually made the Guinness taste really nice. So what's the circumstances in Ireland that makes more people unaware of E6? It just doesn't seem to get the press that we get over here. All right. Um, and to be honest, while we were walking around Dublin, I mean, Abbey Lakes was a different case altogether everywhere you looked everybody was vaping as you saw from that the <coughs> round table that was when we that was after the event if you like and we were just sat there chewing the fat the, having a bit crack the crack was mighty i mean it was great fun and that was a, a kind of a quiet lull in the proceedings if you like it got quite rowdy and well not quite rowdy no, rowdy is not the word it got very friendly um until around about four o'clock in the morning seriously find out when the next vape fest island is on and book get yourself a hotel you need to go so is it once a year they have yes oh, right. yes once a year 
I, I think possibly because the Guinness Brewery can't churn enough out for it to happen any more uh, often. For you, yes. Not just me, I saw some stuff supped. <coughs> My God, we went through it. They were changing the barrels left, right and centre. It was amazing. Yeah. I could live there. A couple of pints of Guinness, I find it, it's uh, nice but heavy. Isn't it? Well, at that point where I wandered around taking that little bit of video, I just used the iPhone. I, at that point, um, my darling wife tells me I had had nine. Nine? The one that was at the end of that little bit was the tenth, and I had another two before I went to bed. So I had 12 on the Saturday. So what, should, what, what, what was she drinking then? Not Guinness. No, I wouldn't have thought it. She was, she was on gin and lemonade. All right. As you do. Because she's, you know, she's a girly, she's a lady. Yes. Which is fair enough. But yes, my, my big thanks to everybody over there. I'll, uh, I'll talk about one of the bits and bobs that I bought because I did buy while I was there. Well, you, yes. I yes, spent I, some money <coughs> and I'll, we'll talk about that in a little while when we've, uh, when we've played with the custard. Do you want to play with custard? Yes. I'm going to go to Keith Cam for this. We need to go to Keith Cam for this. What I've done is I've, I've dripped on that. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, I just want you to try it. It's in a 510, because it's about all I've got that I can drip on at the minute, that hasn't been tainted by other things. Sitting atop a Vamo, for anybody that's interested. Mm. What do you make of that? That's nice. It's all right, is it? Um, while you were sucking on that, I will go to camera four and show everybody what it is. This is tea juices Colonel Custard 24 milligram. They were given, it's their new flavour, apparently from tea juice. Their latest new flavour, and they were giving it away uh, for everybody to try. So, naturally, I thought of you, Keith. Well, I thought, reminds, Keith will love that. Reminds me of, of Gillis. He's the, the expert, isn't well, he? Well, one, on one of the three we've oh. got, <coughs> one of the three we've got is... Gillis's, he sent another batch up for you. All right. And I'm kind of, I want you to do a compare and contrast. This, <coughs> is, this is Keith Says, is what this is. And I think it's quite important, because you're the expert. Well, that's nice. You like it? Yeah. Now, I, I actually do quite like the fact that that doesn't stink. I can't smell it. This is one for you to note, Chris found a uh, custard that doesn't stink. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm taking Well, well I haven't a good sense of smell, so... Well, I you know, If you were smoking it, uh, I probably wouldn't sense it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not... Oh, Mark Shaw saying, give it five minutes, DD. Tea juice custard, yes. Guinness does need Liffy Water, Leanna Lawless. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll go to, to camera one while <coughs> you're enjoying <coughs> that, Keith. Yes, mm. the Guinness over there is miles apart from the Guinness you get in the UK. Seriously, if you d I don't like Guinness over here. I just don't. It's horrible. Get across there and you think, oh, I'll try one just to be sociable, pardon me. Um, and you try one and 12 later, that was <coughs> Friday night, 12 pints on Friday night. So what's the difference? Is it more bitter? No, or it's nicer. <laughs> without being able to identify how it's nicer. It tastes... Velvety. The Irish Guinness, you get, you get, a, uh, you get three major flavours from it. There's a sweetness to it that I've never ever tasted in English Guinness. All right. Which is like on the tip of your tongue, down the sides of your tongue, you get all this lovely malty stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And then there's a touch of bitterness on the back of the tongue as it goes down, and it's it's there's an aftertaste. To, you know, when you've had too much of anything, your mouth tastes as though a parrot's crapped in it. Yes. Yeah. Not with, after 12 pints of Irish Guinness, I can tell you now, your mouth tastes exactly the same. There's no parrot crap involved in any way, shape, oh, or form. Over what period of time did you consume 12 pints? That was all day and all no, night? No, I didn't, I didn't have the first one till about 2 o'clock. And I, I only had one before 5 because I was doing the raffle at 5. So there was 11 between 6 and 2. Bloody hell. I, that's right. just slightly <coughs> weird, that, that's... 12 pints is not stronger than a general anaesthetic, Lamental. It really, it isn't. It's exactly the right amount for a growing boy. 
Who's yeah, growing and sideways, admittedly, <coughs> but it is exactly the right amount for a growing boy. Let nobody tell you any different. Seriously. Irish Guinness comes with magic. Apparently, it's calorie free. <laughs> calorie. <laughs> <coughs> Yes, it'll be full of calories. It then. was gorgeous. Then back to the custard. Let's talk about yes. custard. Talk about the custard. Go on, Keith. Well, that, 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 that's very nice. It, it's quite dry. Mm -hmm. Oh, you might want another drip then. No, I meant the taste is... Oh, is, right, so it's not is, sweet. No, well, well, I don't think it is. Okay. In my palate. I'll, I'll, I'll have a blast in a minute. It seems to be producing well enough at any rate. Um. Mm. Want to try? I'll, I'm going to have a go. I am, <coughs> I am. I am. I think I should, so I will. So therefore, I'll, I'll, I'll drip it. And everybody knows I'm a crap dripper. Which is better than being a drip crapper. <laughs> Two. <coughs> it's a stiff bottle to press. Three, four. They'll all be sitting in chat laughing their socks off now because I've got no idea how to do that. So yeah. have you not tried it mm -mm. at all? Oh, that's all. Mmm. There is something a little bit sharp there. Mmm. Not. Ooh. <clears throat> if it's not a contradiction, it, it's a dry taste to me. It's not interesting. It's. The, 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 the custard is definitely there. Yes. The custard is definitely. I mean, you can't, it's unmistakable. But there is a little. It's not citrus, but it's citrusy. It's not lemon or orange or anything like that, but there's something. Several of the custards have got lemon added to them. It's, 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 it's a hint. It's the merest hint of citrus underneath. It's just well, I couldn't detect that. It's taken. That, that probably accounts for what I'm calling the dryness. Then. Mm. It takes that real kind of mega sweetness away. You know, it's not cloying, not there. Nah. That's all. I right. mean, I, I don't find that it's overly sweet at all. No, it's not. I could, I could use that. Yes, there is a sharpness, a sharpness and a dryness. Yeah, it's kind, but it's a, a blood dry blood. flavour. Yes. It's very, very different <clears throat> from any other uh, vanilla custard I've tasted before. Do you want to try the other one? Right. This is before we get <coughs> to, before we get the Gillis's because that's your benchmark, isn't it? It is. Um, and I'll I'll get this one on the camera for closely up you can. There it is. And this is Aki's Ambrosia. This one is, and this comes from the mix layer the dot mix dot layer at gmail dot com and this was somebody just said keith likes custard doesn't he I said, yeah take him that one to try they said <laughs> ambrosia aye he's ambrosia this one's called some of the ambrosia make custard as well as rice well yes, that's where the name will come yes from. yes it was bird birds ambrosia crust custard i shall <coughs> attempt to drip this one properly whoops he said, pressing the button before he meant to. Easier bottle. One, two, three, four. I should just let's have a little. Yeah, I think we're there. Get the drip tip in, David. There you are, young sir. I should put this back to Keith Cam. Custard again. Custard again. Is that doing the job for you? Yeah, now that to me is more than a hint of citrus in that one. Right. Hmm, that's nice. I haven't tried Not it. as dry, quite different the, the to my... Uh, to my sense of taste. Okay. I'm still not smelling it. I'm still not smelling it, Chris. No. no. I don't know why. Why? 
because the ones that smell really strong are the ones that are dolce de leche. Ah. Well, and that's what I can't stand. Ah. Well, while, while Keith is uh, sucking that down his neck, because he doesn't seem willing to part with it for the second, I'll, um, I'll drop us onto our second lot of adverts and, and Keith will be... I might get a go. Back in a tick. Don't go anywhere. Much the same. Well, we were just having a conversation <coughs> there about flavours and, and steeping, and how somebody was saying that if you say it again, Chris, if you let them steep, I don't find it makes an awful lot of difference. I know some people do, but um, the citrusy side of it, uh, according to Lamental, decreases the longer you let them steep. And I can understand that. Ah. Right. New one on me. <coughs> New one on me. I've, I've got to try this. And this is creamier. And, and I, I think this is the uh, Aki's Ambrosia. I'm getting egg. Getting yes. more egg. But are you not also getting a stronger citrusy flavour than with the first one? Not on the inn. On the after, t I've got it now, as I, as I'm exhaling, but I'm not getting it as it goes down. And I've got really egg, sweet egg, at the minute. On the right on the back of my tongue is a sweet egg. Eggnog. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. And there's something else in there as well. I'm getting on. I know I'm in the minority about the steeping thing because I mean I make up um, 500 mils at a time, mm -hmm. so it can be sitting there. A bottle can be sitting for months and months and months. You know that sort of size bottle. Yeah, right. I make up. Um, and I don't really find a great deal of difference when I go back to them because I change flavors all day long recently. Yeah, yeah. This is. I think it's it's richer, it's eggier. I'm not finding it as citrusy on the in, inhale, and I'm getting a touch of citrus on on the <coughs> exhale. Um, well, I think although there are differences, they're both pleasant. Yes. In different ways. I, I, I could use <coughs> I could use both of those. Right. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to blow this atomizer out. And we'll stick some of Gillis's. Ah, right. Oh, did you see the ex light? the expert? Did you see yeah. his fierce light up there. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just get the blowy out cloth. Oh dear, I better not show this on screen because it's <laughs> monkey. You should invest in a new tea towel. I keep doing that, but my wife keeps on thinking I'm investing in them for 
drying dishes and things. Oh, right. Right. Well, you couldn't be doing that, could you? Good Lord, no. That's just, it's perverted. That's not what tea towels are for. They're for using with atties and various other things. So, right, this, this last one, then, is Gillis's. Gillis's. Your favourite one. Vanilla custard, yes. Gillis's vanilla custard. So, I'll give it one, two, three, four, five drops and let it fester, as you do. Because David's not a good dripper, as we've said. Mm. Get in drip tip. It's called a drip tip, but I can't drip through it. There you are, Keith. I'll Here put we it are. straight to you. There you go. You know that one. Here you go. Everybody goes quiet. A hush goes around the crowd. Yeah, it's about three weeks old, that one. Gillis gave me it at the knees meet for you. For me? For you. It oh, this is all for you. I must thank him very much. There you go. Mm. Ah, Disco Des has, uh, yes. Very nice. Okay. I can smell that. The custard taste is more marked, which uh, I would have expected it to be. Yes. This is... Look at this smile. See the smile on your mm. face. You've been transported to Nirvana. Chris would be absolutely going nuts around you about see, now. You see, my wife's yeah, not I can a... smell it from here. <laughs> it stinks. Oh, it's not a custard lover, hence yeah. I sort of don't get a lot of custard and that. Do you know what I mean? That's not a euphemism, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I just thought I would ask, as you do. As usual, beautiful, Gillis, beautiful. Let's have a try. Gillis, if I don't like it, this is... Sod the smell. I mean, it dear stinks. Me, I probably wouldn't be allowed to smoke that in the lounge, then. That's too much. It's way too strong for me. I. It really is. It's a... For me, it's how, how do you how do you mean it's, it, it's too, too strong, custody. too custody, it's too custody. It's <coughs> really, really custody. Well, to me, we've got three custards there that are markedly different, haven't we? Yes. Well, it shouldn't cause you to grimace. It's. I, I keep on. People keep wondering. I, I would be. I've got to be right about this. I don't like heavily flavoured juices. I'm not... It, it just kind of... Since I've got my taste buds back, they attack, if you get me. Um, well, that sounded try. very South London. Um, I don't need a lot of flavour to enjoy it. I like more subtle... If you think... A bit like elderflower cordial, elderflower wine. That delicacy of flavour. I quite like in my vapes. I don't need an awful lot of flavouring and too much of it I just find it's kind of it, it knocks all my taste buds to, to Well try that, that. Uh, take a, a, a drop of your... I'll, I'll have a little drink first <coughs> No that's really nice Gillis, very nice Right and this is what? This is Blackberry? Yes Blackberry? VIP Blackberry Blackberry A blueberry could be blueberry, sorry. It, it is, and again, very, very blueberry, very, very, oh God, yes. It's like drinking, um, what was that, that cordial you used to get, Chris, the blueberry cordial? Mm, like Ribena stuff. It's like, it's like, aye, it's, it's like blueberry Ribena, but without diluting it, really strong. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm you don't like that. I would have to cut it with some 72 milligram to get the well, flavour out of it. It's, it's very, very strong for me. Right. That's a, a weird one. I'll, uh, I'll stand that in my stand. What do you mean, stand it in your stand? Well, I haven't well, got a top pocket. Oh, all right. <laughs> the bite a bit. It's the bite a bit. Nice. Bite a bit. You're enjoying it. Well, you, you carry on with that while I tell everybody what I bought. 
because I, I spent some money and there was, I'm kidding you not, these things went out of the door like nobody's business. There weren't very many there. Folk <coughs> wanted them and I got one and people might recognise what it is. This is from Ireland? Is this it? is from Ireland. Right. Um, and it is designed in Russia, made in Germany. It's this for Mesto k Light Plus is what it is. And I'll go into more detail about it and how it's been wicked next week. But for the moment, what I'm going to say is as follows. It has been... Have you ever tried a cotton wool wick, Chris? No, I haven't. Neither had I on Saturday. And I sat down and was shown how to do it and I'll bring you all the details next week because I'm going to try and do it myself but I'm going to film it, I'm not doing it live because it's dead easy to get it wrong um, there was a little, you'll, you'll have seen me sat down trying to see how it was done and I'm, I'll, I'll bring that to you next week but for the moment let me just say this on this copper running at what am I running at? I'm running at 10 and a half watts it's bloody gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's blasting it out. Have a blast of that, Keith. Careful, mine, because it's 48 milligram caramel lychee. I'm sure you'll love it. God, it looks a very sort of... How can I put it? Uh... It's gorgeous. Industrialised kind oh, of... Oh, it's, uh, it's the bit uh, on the top we're well, talking about. The copper, the copper's gorgeous. I mean, it just uh, works. It'll go up to 20 watts if you want. I might put it up to 20 watts and let you have a nose hit. Ha, 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 ha. 48 milli milligram caramel lychee. But again, not vastly flavoured. It bats it out, that. The k Light Plus from Small Mesto. The real It certainly I. does. Oh, man. And I, I like I say, uh, I make no apologies for wanting to show people how it worked. It was, it was wicked by an Irish master, it has to be said. And I, like I said, I'll bring all the details to you next week. Um, but yes, it's all good. You like it, not are you? Mm. I thought you might. Must be my taste, but I can't sense caramel. Very, Isn't very I? light. Very, very light. Not a lot of flavour at all. It's all about the nick is that mix. Not much the caramel. The flavour's yeah. nice. It but is. Uh, yeah, it's caramel lychee, but not much caramel. Not a fat lot of lychee and an awful lot of nicotine, which is the best way to go, I think. It's all good. Um, mm. Just a few reminders. Straight after this show, DJ Bobo does underscore VTTV on Twitter. We'll be spinning the wheels of steel. I said I wasn't going to give him a plug, but go on, why not? Tune in, have a listen. The guy does good. He's good. Tomorrow night we'll have Tim doing RY4 radio with the lock-in where there, there, there's no censorship, no holds barred. He tells it like he says it and so does everybody else. Occasionally they might even be swearing. It's all good. Very good. On Sunday night, Dave Kitson will be back with Dave's tackle box as ever was and I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, that'll be good. On Monday night, with a little bit of luck and a following wind, everything will be working still. And Gary Dibley will be back. And because he, he shot on Monday and didn't go out with him naked, I'm assured it'll be naked modern on Monday. He did say he was going to do it with no clothes on, didn't he? He did. There you are, it's Chris Green. He's going to do it with no clothes And so is Mark. But, so Mark, Mark, yeah. but Mark, Mark does it with no clothes on every week. Yeah, I think so. He does. He does it with no clothes on every week. You never say anything but his hands, so it wouldn't make any difference anyway. But never mind, that, that's on Monday. On Tuesday, Mark o Van Basten is back with Vapor Scene, followed by DE Talk, followed by RY4 Radio again. And then Wednesday night, next Wednesday night, are you around? Wednesday. ITV's coming. Wednesday. Our special guest will be Chris Choi, for the uh, consumer editor from the ITV's Tonight programme. It's a show not to be missed because it's being recorded for a documentary that's going out in January and I also if you didn't see it last night there's going to be kind of a mini meet happening on the Thursday as well if you're up here in local get in touch let us know 
uh, because Chris Choi, the ITV crew, want to film a few vapors in our natural element, which is enjoying ourselves. So that'll be happening at the new Crown, we think, um, in South Shields next Thursday. And, and then we're back to the Here's Hour. So if I'm sober, we'll be doing that. It'll all be good. Uh, Chris Choi, Disco Days. Chris, Chris Choi is a week in a week's time, the 27th, Wednesday night, VT Talk. He'll be on the show with us then. Um, all that it remains for me to do is to say a big thank you to Chris for doing the job, the marvellous job that she usually does, and to Sav for doing the still photographies, because it was Sav doing it at night, was it, Chris? Yes, it was. There you are, you see? The team. <coughs> Multitasking females that can do all kinds of things. You haven't been crocheting tonight, have you? No, knitting. not tonight. No crocheting tonight. No knitting. Knit one, pearl one, drop one. That's the way I used to do it. I've been good. I haven't even been shopping. You haven't? <laughs> Who are you and what have you done with Kat? <laughs> no shopping. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Um, and thanks to, to, to Keith. Pleasure. Yeah. I enjoy, you're enjoying that, aren't you? Y yes, very nice. That's Excellent stuff. Very... And the biggest thanks of all, obviously, go to you, our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a great pleasure to spend the last hour with you, and I look forward to seeing you again really, really soon. Until then, from all of us here, have a wonderful time, and we'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget, vape on, vape hard, and nil carborundum illegitimis. That's the new version. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Cheery bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.